Hello, this is uh, the second video about the rotary encoder from the Arduino 37 sensor kit. In the first video we looked how it worked and in this video we will add a button to it and find a way to reset its value. Uh, setting up a button is uh, very easy. We know that it's uh, on pin 4 and we read a value from that pin and if that value is 0 so the value on the value button is high all the time and if it's if it is low then the button is pressed and then we write down button pressed but to reset the values we cannot do new position is zero and old position is zero and that's because this code works with the, the library i will show you this in the monitor i compiled it and here in the monitor you can see if uh, if I turn, it uh, it has a value, and if I reset it, if I press it, it says button pressed. But if you see here, it sets new position to zero, and then it loops, and then it it reads the value from the library. So we have to reset it in inside the library. So to update your the library, go to the folder where your libraries are saved and open the encoder folder and open this file and you need a C++ compiler for that so open it if you have no C++ compiler uh, just google it and download one there are many open source uh, compilers and the guy who wrote this library put all the code inside the header file and he did that because we can update it so we have to open the header file so back in your library folder open the header file and the code inside the header file is written in the c++ language and my c++ is very rusty but if i study the code i see that position is updated almost all the time so i'm assuming that if i make position zero it will reset all the values and that's what I'm doing in this function here I will put this uh, function in the description so you can uh, copy and paste it inside your own library so what I'm doing is I make a, a new function I call it reset position and then I write the value of zero to the position so now this function is set up all we have to do is save it over here just click on save and we do not have to compile it because it will be compiled inside the Arduino compiler all we have to do inside the Arduino code is inside the, the button if the button is, is uh, pressed uh, get rid of those two lines and call an instance of the class and call the function we just created reset position and compile it uploading open uh, the monitor and if we turn clockwise we it's adding a value and if we turn counterclockwise it's uh, building up a minus value and if we press the button now it says button pressed and you see it starts at zero again and this is how you can update a library and reset the value this is uh, the end of the video thanks for watching uh, please subscribe see you next time